in Mulbo in South Cebu, which is actually made famous by the sardine run. You can go snorkeling or diving. We're actually going diving tomorrow to go and see it. But today we are headed to White Beach. Look how sketchy the road is. <laughs> I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? And here's Anne. <laughs> Hello, I'm here as well. <laughs> yeah, so White Beach isn't actually the main beach in Mulbo. The main beach is where you can do the sardine run. White Beach is actually voted one of the best beaches, most beautiful beaches in South Cebu, which is pretty interesting. I haven't been to any beach yet in Cebu, we only arrived last night, so it'll be really interesting to see what it's like. Hi! To the White Beach? Oh really? Yeah, so we've actually just been turned around because we found out we're going completely the wrong way. Google Maps lie. That's one thing we should have learned in four <laughs> years of travelling in Asian countries, that Google Maps lies. And also, Sabrina's absolutely useless at directions as well. So it's that no, is it's such no, a lie. Because uh, I was thinking when we were driving down here, I was like, why is it not more busy? If this is such a nice beach, why is it not more bloody busy? And this is a private resort road though, so why is <laughs> no, it not nicer? So nice? <laughs> we'll update you when we're actually on the way to on the right road. But, uh, right now, it ain't happening because this thing's in front of us. So it looks like we're going to be here for a bit of a while. But anyway guys, look at the map. It literally says it's this way. So I'm not bad at directions. Google map just lies. <laughs> In the future reference for you guys, if you come here, is actually White Beach correct location. On the map. On the map, on Google Maps. If Yeah, you're looking for it. <laughs> so if you make it the same mistake we did, Normal chicken. Oh. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Have a good day. Uh, this is like valid for three days. Oh, really? Three days. Oh, oh, amazing. So you can use it again. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you. you very much. God. Thank you, mate. Have a good day. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. So yeah, valid for three days that ticket. And that was paying for an environmental fee. Normally when you go to like a nice beach in most places in the Philippines, you have to pay, I guess it's like a fee for them to look after the place and keep it really beautiful. Uh, but yeah, that one's valid for three days, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Very good, 25 yeah. pesos per person, which is just standard. The other one on Pang Lao was 25 pesos as well. Yeah, yeah, um, I think it was 20. 20, but yeah. yeah. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know about being one of Cebu's most beautiful beaches. It's definitely one of Cebu's most expensive beaches, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Another 40 pesos just to get in. Will we stop again? That's the question. We're walking down there. Yeah. Excuse me, sir, you want to buy a fresh coconut? No, thank you. Yeah, thank you. You, mum? No, thanks, maybe later. Thank you. Wow. This looks nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, look at the view from over there. I know, beautiful. Mm -hmm. The waves are a bit, a bit wavy, isn't it? Nice it, and blue, though. It's bloody, gorgeous. Blue, it's bloody gorgeous. Take the flip-flops off, I think. Sounds a bit coarse, but it's nice. A little bit coarse. A little bit coarse, but you know. You can't have everything, can you? You can't have everything, no. In the Philippines, you get a lot. So, we <laughs> yeah. can take a bit of cool sand stuff in. <laughs> okay, we're looking for a bit of shade for Anthony. Yeah, I need some shade. I've got a bit of a flu at the moment. We're going diving tomorrow, so I want to try and get rid of it. Sitting in the sun, being dehydrated, it's not going to help. Well, loads of shade. <laughs> it's really packed out there, isn't it? Yeah. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. No, Maybe no, later. No. <laughs> Ow! Is it rocky where you are? Yeah. Ow! It's a uh, rocky the entire way that I can see. And wow. some of it is really sharp. It's like big rocks. Oh. No, not little rocks, big bloody rocks. Oh. Ow! Oh. <laughs> some of the rocks here are like really slimy. And some of them are just like rocks it's so weird but like when you look down you can't see ow 
They keep flicking up and hitting like the back of my bloody legs as well. <laughs> this is so horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe this beach's a little bit overrated. <laughs> Alright, this bit's okay because it's just like heavily. Uh, <laughs> compared to the other beaches we've been to? I'd say so, because they didn't have the crowd completely filled with rocks. Did they? No. So, uh, <laughs> mine didn't see that whole situation, but as I was putting the GoPro back, I was just minding my own business. And if something either scratched me or pinched me, sucked my scab off or something but I'm okay with going back in there I'm so put off <laughs> oh, I'm so creepy are you ready yes or no yes unless there's a bit that's like not rocky at all I'm that we don't know it. about somehow <laughs> but this bit here not much everyone else is chilling as well isn't it I don't know oh, that was actually so traumatising <laughs> <laughs> just got two coconuts 170 originally was a hundred each I feel like that's quite expensive and this guy behind us this guy here just had a bloody go at us because we didn't really get it off of him cheeky bugger you know when they ask you you don't want it and then when you do want it they come and ask you and then you get the other guy having a go at you it's mad isn't it <laughs> i think you can barter barter for the stuff they've got everything beers uh, ice cream rum. And then if you've got a coconut, you can ask and chuck some rum in it as well, which is pretty mad. Ice cream as well. One guy had honey. Um, one guy, yeah, one guy had honey. He opened up the tub and it had bloody bees in it. <laughs> like frozen bees, they were dead. Like dead oh. frozen bees. It's so weird. Just a heads up, when you go to Mulbowl, uh, White Beach here, there are a lot of people, mainly coconuts and ice cream and stuff, trying to sell you. But it's quite constant, isn't it? It's constant, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, mate. Yeah, Very nice. Thank you so much, mate. Appreciate it. Wow, popping. And your cheese is uh, 830? Yeah, it's perfect. 800. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, mate. Have a good day. Thanks very much. Thank you, mate. Bye bye. I think it was advertised as a cold coconut from that gentleman and it's not cold so fresh <laughs> it's but not fresh. cold <laughs> fresh but not cold so um so guys we are leaving the beach both a bit peckish mind that as glass huh? mm. both a bit peckish both very hot both very sandy burnt, probably. very burnt as well my skin feels a bit irritated and yeah we're gonna go get some food at a restaurant called Kim Lan 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 Lantau? Lantau, I think it's called. Lao, something like that. <laughs> Filipino restaurant, anyway. To be confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be confirmed. But yeah, we're on our way there. It's about a 15 minute drive. And um, yeah. We shall see you there for me. Sunset, isn't very, it? Very, very nice actually. They've changed their name to Tanor, haven't they, from Lantau? Yeah. Interesting. It's, like, it's part of the Neptune diving resort, which is like downstairs. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that's one good way of finding it, isn't it? <laughs> Bit of a rebrand, I think. <laughs> you got your butter prawns, didn't you? Butter prawns are delicious, aren't they? Yeah. And I've got sizzling meat. Bit uh, vague, but we'll um, see what something turns up. Oh, that's what it is. Literally sizzling. Wow. Excited. Yeah. Yummy. I thought it would be sizzling. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Yeah. That's not lemony as well. Yeah, yeah, go on, let's chuck it in. Mmm, no. Mmm, very nice. Really nice as well, do you want to try it? It's so tender. I know. But yeah, the flavour. 
It's getting a bit roast dinner, not gonna lie. Roast dinner. <laughs> I'll pinpoint it. Yeah. yeah, so we mentioned earlier about the, the sardine run. Panag Samar Beach. This is Pag Pag Samar Beach. Panag Samar Beach. And um, that's where the sardine run is, where those two guys are snorkeling. Mm, I think what you can bring um, snorkeling gear for just a hundred pesos. And then just walk out there. Yeah. You don't want to die. Insane. Really cheap, isn't it? Yeah. Food was nice, wasn't it? What do you think? Cheap and cheerful, that was Super cheap, not the best food in the world, obviously, but it was, it was, lovely, um, it was lovely, yeah, 625 pesos, two I cokes, know. two main meals, rice, obviously, and um, yeah, what do you think of the beach overall? Do you think it's worth the trek? It's a bit of a drive. Um, the only thing, obviously, keep in mind, there isn't actually really that much of another beach other than this one, but... Yeah, um, I, mean, I don't know, maybe we have to give it a second chance. Yes. Maybe there isn't rocks everywhere. I think there is. But, I don't know, further investigation is needed, I think, yes. before a decision is made. And also, I think <laughs> we've kind of set ourselves up for failure by going to like really nice beaches over the past month. Yeah. So we've kind of made it where it's just like, if there's a beach that's got any kind of issue, we're just going to write it off, which we shouldn't do. But leave it up to your own interpretation. Exactly. Form your own opinion. Don't get put off just because we've said it. There's amazing beaches in the Philippines. Exactly. Yeah, we're spoiled for choice, yes, aren't we? Yes, exactly. And I hope you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>